Hey guys, welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise with myself, Jason, bringing you whiskey review number 34, where we're going to review the Cavalan Podium. Now this is a beautiful purple bottle and I'm actually gonna show you one over here. And what we're gonna do in this review is review the actual Podium, which I got a dram off from Drinks by the Dram. Now if you haven't heard of the Podium, it was released, I believe, in late 2012 and it's now part of the core range from Cavalan. Now, if you also missed the last video, which was the Concert Master and the Classic, I'll have a link to those uh, to my right-hand side as we go through. But we're gonna pour ourselves a dram to begin with and get into my review style structure. So this whiskey is a non-age dated whiskey, and as I've mentioned before, most of Taiwanese whiskeys are non-age statements, but have a minimum uh, age of four years old. ABV wise, it is bottled at a 46% ABV, and the cast selection they use in this one are new American oak, also known as virgin oak casks, and then you've also got the refill oak casks. So the combination of the two are what comprises to make the podium. So in terms of the whiskey distillery, it's from the Cavalan Distillery, which I'll leave a picture over here. And they are owned by the King Car Group. Uh, the owner is also Mr. Lee, as I've mentioned in the last video. And they are based in Ilan County, Taiwan, just over there. So exactly you know where they are, just a bit south from Taipei. Now in terms of the actual price for this bottle, for the full size bottle, you're looking at between 60 to 70 pounds. And this one actually online was 65 pounds for the full bottle. So I think I paid around about seven pounds for the dram, which is not bad. You're getting to try a whiskey and something that I've been really looking forward to in trying the podium. Now, in terms of exclusivity, is it exclusive? The answer to that is no. You do get this one pretty much everywhere and it's part of the core range, so you should be able to find it in all whiskey specialist shops. And is there any caramel color added to this whiskey? The answer to that is no. This is all natural color. And you can pretty much see that it's quite a light color in this whiskey. It's not very heavy. So as you can see, natural color. So let's begin the review and uh, get into the review. If you have missed any of my blog posts, be sure to check down below in the description. I'll leave a link over there for my blog. So let's get into assessing the actual color for this whiskey. And it does have a very light appearance in comparison to the Concert Master and also to the classic. So I'm gonna go with something like a straw gold as it is very light in color. So I'm gonna say a straw gold or maybe even so far to say even maybe a pale gold. Yeah, let's go with a pale gold on this one. So anyway, let's assess next the nose of this whiskey. So off the first nosing on this whiskey, it really brings out those dry tropical fruits and picking up a little bit of dried mangoes, a little bit of sort of what reminds me of ripe green apples, quite succulent, it's almost making my mouth water just nosing it. I'm picking out also a slight oaky character, it reminds me of a little bit of vanilla. So I'm gonna have a second nosing and see what other notes we can pick out. So from the second nosing, I'm definitely picking out a little bit of vanilla, more towards like I'd say a vanilla oak, uh, maybe a bit of cedar wood over there, there's a slight woody presence on the end of the nose with a little spice, which reminds me of a little bit of white, white pepper. And it's all sort of combined by a little sweeter hints of like a cherry blossom, just so it plays out just over there. And it's got a sweetness all around. So quite interesting nose. I'm picking out maybe a little slight bit of tangerines over there. So an interesting nose, quite complex and a lot going on. So next we're going to move into the palate for this whiskey. The texture from this whiskey as it starts out, it's quite like a light, watery, sort of medium texture to it and then it slowly develops ever so slightly. The first note you're greeted with is definitely that sort of peppery, white peppery, spicy note. A little bit of a gingery warmth as it just goes and opens up the note profile. And then it makes way for the sort of dry green grapes, a little bit of barley, and then right behind that, as you let the spice just fade, um, you're finding more towards a sweeter note. And I'm thinking more like baked banana bread um, drizzled with a little bit of treacle over the top, just with a little sweeter hints and that same fruitiness coming out. And it's just quite, as it just sort of rolls all over the palate, it's so enjoyable. This is one that just definitely the spice aspect is present in the beginning, but as you let it fade ever so slightly, you're gonna get much more of those fruitier notes making themselves known. So now let's move next into the finish for this whiskey. So moving into the finish for this whiskey, this one does have what I'd say is like a medium sort of long finish. It does prolong itself a little bit longer with the spice aspect. 
And then you get a slight citrus burst, which stays there and stays very consistent. A lot of vanilla comes out into the finish of this whiskey and leaves a slight drier mid palate. And then I'm getting that sort of sweeter honey blossom note right on the end. And it's all just like all mouth coating as it sort of lingers all around. One thing I'd definitely say about this whiskey, if you give it a little bit of time, it opens up so much more. So next up, I'm gonna give my rating for the whiskey and my overall opinion. And I think I've come to my opinion on this one. Now, also, I'm going to leave a picture of how the new bottle looks just over here so you can see exactly how it has changed because before it was like a very nice purpley, pinky looking box and bottle and now they've changed it to the new style which matches the Solist range. So I'm actually going to give it a 87, I hope that's visible, 87 out of 100. And the reason behind that, I like the depth, I like the complexity in this whiskey. It's much more complex than the Concert Master and the Classic, but... The spice aspect I found a bit too overwhelming in the beginning, but if you do let it have some time and let it settle, it does open up. It's sort of bouquet to the different floral notes and these little fruitier notes that sort of just burst on the palate with the spices and how they really play very well together. So I'm gonna give it an 87 out of 100. And in terms of value for money, it's between 60 and 70 pounds. This was effectively 65 pounds, that one is 65 pounds a bottle. But if you can pick it up more towards the £60 marker, you can't go wrong with that, as I feel that's a very good price. Anything sort of higher than 70 I feel I would personally avoid. So on that note, also, would I add water to this whiskey? And the answer for that is maybe just a pinch. And that's after tasting it neat, just so you know if you're able to palate the spice aspect. But otherwise, minus that, fantastic whiskey. Great stuff. Uh, let me know what you think if you have tried the podium. Uh, leave it down below in the comment section as well. Check out my blog. Follow me on all my social medias. It is Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And also, I'm going to leave the other video, the classic and the concert master over here. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, which I'll leave just over there. And I'm going to end the video on that. So this has been Jason from Whiskey Wise. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and I'll catch you all for the next video.